our day The way of the crypt of warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Big Square Road to Rue.com. Good morning, Corners. Here's your sip of chaga coffee. All right, I posted a, an interview last night that I did um, with the Wall Street Silver guys. Go to their channel, Wall Street Silver, and watch that interview. <clears throat> For some reason, I don't know why, but <laughs> when I when I do interviews with these guys, it doesn't get as many views as even when I post a video. I don't know what it is. I you know, obviously there's shadow banning and all that on silver information. Um, but a lot of their, all their other uh, interviewees get tons of views. And I, whatever I go on, they shadow ban me. I think it's an awesome interview. Go check it out. Um, it's called Silver Shorts Colluding with Government, Big Square. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe they don't want the, the YouTubers and whoever controls this doesn't want people to see the real information of what goes on. They want they want the established silver analysts who say, well, silver went down because of supply and demand. It's got nothing to do with supply and demand. Nothing. Zero. Nada. Nothing to do with anything other than the market rigging, and that's what I'm uncovering, the market rigging. So I'm just saying, go check it out. You guys will love this. If you have silver, if you have cryptos, because they're really interchangeable. The market mechanisms that are used to rig silver or what they're trying to implement into cryptos. Um, we need to shed the shit. <laughs> Gary Gensler, get a life. Don't be afraid to let free market reign. Let free market trading be reestablished on planet Earth. <laughs> Imagine a world where free market trading um, was actually allowed to happen. And yes, Commodity prices would fly to, you know, infinity because you're printing too much money. So I get why you have to control everything. But the problem, the reason you have to control everything is because you're not controlling yourself. Unbacked fiat money is the problem. And the alternative to that is silver and gold and cryptos. So stop pretending that it's not. Stop pretending that the problem is that copper is going too high or gold is going too high or silver is going too high. That, it, that's not the problem. That's just a, a consequence of the real problem, which is unbacked fiat money being printed and used, <clears throat> printed and used like it's going out of style. Remember when Barack Obama sent 900, I think it was $900 billion in cash to the Iranians right before he left? I'll guarantee you that didn't go to the Iranians. That went to his coffers and, and to his people. We need to break out of this insane thought that, you know, what they tell us is true because it's a lie. Huge lie. Anyway, go to Wall Street Silver. Check this out. We talk about all the reasons silver is being rigged right now, who's doing it, how they're doing it, and we talk about the people who are trying to stop the rig, which is really interesting. <clears throat> also, starting today is our friend Chris Marcus over at Arcadia Economics. Starts his Silverfest 2, the return of the Silverfest. Uh, mainly virtual, I think. Go to Arcadia Economics, and um, he has links to get in there, register, check them out. All right. Uh, silver, and where is it right now? Like I said, it's hovering right around the 50-day, 100-day, 200-day moving average. Um, they slammed it down... You know, right now we're looking at the 50-day moving average is 23.35. It's above that, but it's still below that 100-day uh, moving average of 24.40 right now. Could break out of that today. It's been toying with that, um, but the big one would be the 200-day moving average of 20, about $25.50. No, I am not. I haven't converted to charts. <laughs> technical people, all they, they use technical against you. The company called Virtu Financial, Virtu Financial, a company called, run by Vinny Viola, a, a criminal Wall Street market rigger. He was partners with Bernie Madoff. Vinny Viola is still out there doing his shit. He, is, um, he owns a company called Virtu Financial. It's a computer rigging firm that is an authorized participant of SLV. What does that tell you? All the other authorized participants are banks, bullion banks, uh, well, J.P. Morgan's not because they hold all the inventories, but Goldman Sachs and you know the the 
the crowd. Actually, I have them right here. AB and Amro, Barclays, Citibank, Credit Suisse, Goldman Sachs, HSBC, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, RBC Capital, Scotiabank, UBS, and number 12 is a company called Virtu Financial. All those banks I listed before are too stupid to understand how to rig markets. They are not smart cabal members. The only two are, are JP Morgan, which is holding the physical, and a company called Virtu Financial, who just does the electronic market rigging. That's how that game is played. Virtu Financial used to be called EWT LLC. EWT LLC, and those of you who love uh, the charts and graphs, you know what EWT is. Elliott Wave Theory. Remember Elliott Wave Theory? Nobody uses it anymore because all those people lost all their money. Elliott Wave Theory was this, you know, hey, because this is crossed this and this did that. and <laughs> It's all these tech funds who are trying to figure out exactly the mechanics of 50-day moving averages. They got fleeced time and time again. So Elliott Wave Theory followers are basically broke now. It's amazing. And who stole their money? Vinny Viola of Virtu Financial. So that's my take. That's my analysis. That's why technical trading is ridiculous. It's used by these big banks to fleece and control the price of silver, the price of gold, the price of everything. Technical analysis is used as a tool to fleece. The, it's the commercials, which are the banks, against the tech funds. The tech funds are the ones who get fleeced. That's why <clears throat> Virtu... EWT LLC was a little too obvious. So they changed the name to Virtu Financial. <clears throat> All right, moving on. I don't know what's going to happen to silver, but I have an inkling. I have an inkling that something's going to happen next week, tomorrow or next week or whatever. Because it feels like the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, it was uh, February like 27th, 28th. It's like three or four days before, the month before the delivery date of February, March. March was the delivery date. We have delivery month. We have a delivery month in December. So if there's going to be action similar to what happened in the early part of the year, kind of to close out the year, I would expect it to start happening either tomorrow. Uh, I'm Theoretically, I would expect it to happen tomorrow. Keep an eye on silver. <laughs> Do I, are you, what are the odds? Very low. But if, if it does happen, if we do start to see a silver run tomorrow and the next day, and all of a sudden it runs up to $30 again, we know who did it. You want to know who did it? Private Advisor Group, LLC. This is what they did in the first part of the year. And I talk about this on, this, on the discussion I have with Wall Street Silver. Again, go check out the discussion. Send it to everybody. So at least we get, you know, 15,000 views. <laughs> I know 15,000 of my people are going to watch it. Why won't, why won't YouTube show the true numbers of how many views that my, my, uh, my discussions with these guys get? I don't know. I don't know. You guys check that out yourself. But, <clears throat> yeah, private advisor group doesn't have, to, doesn't have to tell people what they are doing until, what's it, 45 days after the quarter's over. So in November of 2000, November, in the next two weeks, we're going to know what they did in the, that would be the third quarter. And then what they do today, tomorrow, the next day, and this next week, doesn't have to re be reported until February 15th. So look at this. I mean, right here, first quarter, they bought 191 million SLV shares. One third of all SLV was held by private advisor group. And they bought it all in a month. That's why the price of silver went up towards $30. That's why Rustin Benham had to go to private advisory group and said, Stop! Don't you dare! I'm the, I'm the regulator. I'm going to change the rules so that there's a, unless you stop, I'm going to change the rules so that there's only sell orders allowed, not buy. That's what they did to the Hunt brothers. <clears throat> or I'm going to threaten to throw you in jail. That's what the regulator did to Warren Buffett. And, but the, it, Buffett didn't have a problem with silver. He had a problem with General Re. General Re was a, a reinsurance company bought that was doing fraudulent things. 
So the CFTC and the bankers that control General Re went to Warren Buffett and said, you either stand down or we, we take you down. So Warren Buffett had to give all the 130 million ounces of physical silver that Warren had accumulated in the late 90s, had to give it to the banking cabal, the criminals, so that they can start SLV. This is how criminal this system is, and it's ugly. You know, when people ask me, and they ask me on this interview with Wall Street Silver, they say, why, why doesn't a, a rich person just buy up all the silver and be done with it? That's why. Ask the Hunt brothers. Ask Warren Buffett, who was almost thrown in jail just because of his involvement with silver. And he was doing not so perfect accounting. Yeah. Again, let's, let's talk about J.P. Morgan. What Jamie Dimon said, $5 trillion a day goes out of their money office in Florida every single day. Why? $5 trillion? Are you kidding? That's infinity money, my friends. J.P. Morgan doesn't have a $5 trillion market cap. It's got like a $2 trillion market cap, I think. I haven't looked at it in a long time. Why is it, why is it $5 trillion going out of the J.P. Morgan money fund in Florida every single day? Because it's all derivatives. This is how frauds are played. <clears throat> Complete lack of oversight. But that's fine. Let's get the oversight out of the way. Don't let the overseers block the way of free markets. That's what Rustin Benham of the CFTC is doing right now. That's what Gary Gensler of the SEC is doing right now. People get, well, what's the solution, Bix? Oh, it's something like Veritasium, peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Why do you think they locked up Reggie Middleton? You know, Reggie had a great YouTube post the other day. Uh, it might have been yesterday. Go check it out at the Veritasium um, YouTube channel. But he was talking about <clears throat> the 98, uh, was it 98 million of the 100 million Veritasium tokens that are locked up by the SEC. And people are asking him in the in the chat room, you know, what happens if the government dumps that onto the market? And Reggie's like, they're, they're useless tokens. Veritasium is not a cryptocurrency. It is prepaid software to use the system. It gets a little complicated. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know why they locked it up. I think there is part truth in what Cliff High was saying, that the U.S. government's going to come to Reggie and say, help us. Help us figure out how to end hypothecation, destroy companies like Virtu Financial that trades a quadrillion share, derivative shares of everything, mainly silver, to manipulate the price. <clears throat> how do we fix that? Peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Make them real. <clears throat> you want a silver market? Trade silver for U.S. dollars. That would be a clean and clear silver market. With Veritasium, you can use anything, but it's peer-to-peer. -peer. There's no rehypothecation. Do I think Veritasium will be in the mix? I do. I do. I believe in Cliff's data, and I, I believe that what Reggie did was the right thing. It was just too soon. He has the patent on DeFi, by the way. All you DeFi lovers, <laughs> you better talk to Reggie Middleton about getting a sign-off that your, your crypto that does DeFi doesn't doesn't infringe on Reggie's patent or else shut you down when that patent gets approved it did get approved in Japan that's a like a third of the of the market Reggie has the patent on DeFi it's amazing that it got approved in Japan tells me tells me there's something else bigger coming for the United States of America all right um so yeah keep an eye on obviously buy as much silver as you can uh talk to Andy uh, Sheckman the other day, he's like crazy busy. We have we have premiums through the roof again on Silver Eagles and pre sixty five. I'm the I'm the big lover of pre sixty five and Eagles. I mean that's the majority of my holdings is in pre sixty five stuff. It used to be you can get pre sixty five coinage for below spot, which is crazy. It was a long time ago. David Morgan pointed that out. He's like I could teach you how to buy silver below spot, and it was pre sixty five coinage. And now that that uh, premium is off the charts. Why? Very simple. It's identifiable and it's in small amounts. Don't go out and buy 100-ounce bars or 1,000-ounce bars. 
How are you going to sell 100 ounce bars when silver goes to, say, $10,000 an ounce? You get to walk into a coin shop and they're going to give you a million bucks right there? You got to think about this stuff. It's like, well, you'll be able to sell it, but you need a big money buyer with that 1,000 ounce bars at $10,000 an ounce. And they'll be melting it down, I guarantee you, or they'll be drilling it because you don't even know what's in that bar. Stick to the small denomination. Stick to one ounce. Ten ounce if you have to. If you get pre-65 coinage, great, but I hear that premiums are literally through the roof because also people are running out of it. That's why premiums go up. People don't have it. Why Why is? Why are we running out of pre-65 coinage? Because no one in their right mind would sell it right now. Yes, premiums will go probably double the price of silver on pre-65 coinage because nobody wants to sell that stuff. It's easily recognizable. The penalties for making fake U.S. coinage are a lot stiffer than making fake one-ounce rounds. We're talking counterfeiting. That's counterfeiting U.S. money. And oh, by the way, let's just talk about the difference between minted U.S. constitutional money and the un and then fiat Federal Reserve notes. Completely different things. I mean, if you want to technically think about it, the difference between a paper Federal Reserve note and four quarters minted by the U.S. Mint is night and day. That's an IOU from the Fed that can be shut down with a stroke of a pen. The quarters, the four quarters, come from the U.S. government. That's real money. Why do you think they're trying to get away from change? Because they're trying to pull back all the real money from society. No, I wouldn't go buy as much change as possible. I'd go buy as much silver as possible because that's going to be worth a lot more. All right. So I also, I am more than pleased and very excited that Theta has fixed the problem with the, the Trezor wallet. There was a problem. Those of you who followed my channel know the, the problem dragged on. And they announced today version 3.1.2 released with fixes for Trezor transactions, signing update to go into effect on Sunday, uh, November 7th. Bravo, guys. Bravo. I know it's um, very important to get that right because you're changing the blockchain. So, bravo. Good job. Um, all you uh, <laughs> tre Trezor, uh, where you hold your theta on Trezor, you're probably lucky that it was a problem because you would have, you might have sold. You wouldn't have. I know. You're hodlers. But you might have sold when Theta and Theta Fuel were lower. Um, I think Theta and Theta Fuel are going. I, I'm still seeing eighty eight dollars and eighty eight cents by the end of the year for for Theta, and it's like it's six dollars and fifty cents right now. How does that happen? Very simply, Coinbase. Hello, Coinbase. The the conspiracy of all conspiracies is why Theta and Theta Fuel are not traded in the United States of America as I call it, the USSA. Why? Because as soon as it goes on Coinbase, it goes up 10x. Probably more. Let's say it goes on Coinbase, it's $8. It'll go to $88.88. Boom, there's your 88.88. Oh, Bix, that can't happen. Really? 330 million people will have the opportunity to buy Theta and Theta Fuel. What are they buying now that's on Coinbase? This. Where's that stupid coin? Shiba Inu. <laughs> Shiba Inu is going up because it's on Coinbase. And it's a meme coin. And everybody wants it. What's going to happen when Coinbase picks up, say, Theta Fuel? And Katy Perry's talking about Theta Fuel in her, in her opening of a Vegas show. All through December, Katy Perry's going to say, Theta Fuel, Theta Fuel, Theta Fuel, Theta Fuel. Could it be that the remote viewing CEO slash celebrity was not Tom Brady, but was actually Katy Perry? Could be. And that's from Ed Reardon. He saw that the, the Theta moonshot happens when this celebrity CEO. And don't forget, Theta has teamed up with the uh, CCS, which is like the largest, one of the largest, I think it's number two or number one, 
talent agencies in the world. They got so many names that are going to come out and say, buy this for your NFT. And that takes Theta Fuel. And if you're in America, you better have a place to buy it. Hey, Kraken. Hey, Bitcoin Ben, you know the Kraken guy. Why isn't he, why isn't he listing Theta and Theta Fuel? You want to make money on an exchange? List Theta and Theta Fuel. I'm going to call Ben today. I'll say, get your guy out there to list Theta and Theta Fuel. Well, Bix, it's not that easy. Ben won't say that. The guy will tell him. Well, Ben, it's not that easy. Because if you don't have it, you're not supposed to trade it. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe they can't get their hands on it. And once they do, they probably don't want to sell it. <laughs> get your Theta. Get your Theta Fuel. And get your Shiba Inu. All right. Full confession, I bought some Shiba Inu only because my son got hooked in and said, all my friends are buying Shiba Inu. Dad, will you help me buy some Shiba Inu? And I said, you got it. It's your kid. You got to say, yeah, I want to be involved with whatever he's doing. So Tarn and I bought some Shiba Inu together. <laughs> Not a lot, just a little. And I said to him, son, prepare this. Prepare to watch it go up and then go to zero at some point because it's there's no use case for it. And there never will be, most likely. I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't explain Dogecoin. I mean, I was talking to my friend Will Lair the other day when I was up there in Texas. And he's like, oh, damn, remember? Will bought into the Dogecoin meme in the early days. And he goes, I shed, never shed a soul off my Dogecoin because it went up thousands of percent compared to what it was. And what I'm learning is that it doesn't matter what the coin does or what, if there's a meme and there's a pump and dump going on, write it if you can. I am not going to invest in Shiba Inu other than this tiny thing I did with my son. Um, persistence, I'm still digging in. It would take a lot for me to buy. See, the other thing is, Everything you invest in something, a new coin or, I mean, Michelle White Dove is the bomb. There's no doubt. She is the queen of all psychics, hands down. And she has been correct so many times. Not all the time, but so many times. The only reason I'd invest in persistence would be because of Michelle White Dove. But I'm choosing not to because I have to sell Theta or Theta Fuel to make a serious investment in persistence. Theta and Theta Fuel, I did the homework persistence i look at it and i'm like i know what they're trying to do but you're gonna need hell of a lot of you know earth moving equipment to get the regulators on your side to try to do what they're trying to do otherwise they'll just shut them down and i don't know what's going to happen with regulation maybe it's just asia that that persistence is used in which is the probability but again it would take selling something i know is going to moonshot to buy something that Michelle White Dove says Vixis is going to moonshot. It's just not the way I invest. I have to do my homework. I have to invest intellectually and not just emotionally and, and, and with spirit. And my own spirit tells me it's not a good idea to dump something you know that you've studied, you know is going to be a moonshot for something that you fully don't agree with or you don't understand and I don't have a year to, to sink into persistence getting to know the regulatory framework around that. So I'm just sticking with my silver. I'm not going to sell silver to buy persistence. <laughs> I don't I don't suggest anybody sell silver right now for or for anything. If anything, you should be selling cryptos and buying silver. And yes, Andy Sheckman does take Bitcoin. Or silver. So call Andy. Send him an email. Andy at milesfranklin.com. And my friends over at um, Caleb and Brown, they'll they'll figure out a way to get your theta and theta fuel into silver. So call them as well. And especially if you hold their hold your cryptos with them, could be pretty easy to do. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway. I'm very excited to say Jenny Moonstone got her Wi-Fi back up. We are going to be talking about some really cool stuff. She bought Shiba Inu. <laughs> and Heidi. 
Uh, Heidi Bamberg's back in the mix. I'm hoping to get her on the show, and uh, we'll talk. It, those who don't remember Heidi, Jenny and Heidi used to have a show together. Um, and Heidi's getting into Sheba as well. I mean, every, every, it's like everybody's following the trend. And but they know it's gonna it's gonna pull back at some point. If if you hit the top and then you can get out, great. Don't put your life savings into it. If you want to have fun with it, go for it. I'm having fun with it. And I told my son to go, let me know when you want to sell, because I'm the first one to, to place that order. <laughs> but hey, come join the private road, roadrue.com. Hit subscribe today. We'll be talking to Jenny. Uh, she says she's got a lot of news, which means pretty damn good stuff for especially knowing Jenny, it's going to be about solar. It's going to be about Theta and Theta Fuel. And um, I have some deep dive stuff about the Grand Canyon that I've been working on deeper than I've already gone, which is pretty damn deep um, that I want to talk to her about. And we'll be talking about that as well on the private road at Road to Ruta. Go to RoadToRuta.com, hit subscribe today, and look what you'll get. You will get 50 Theta Fuel for joining. Isn't that cool? This is Big Square, RoadToRoot.com. I'll talk to you later.